All right, boys, we're back on the video. Today is uh, non-Mopar related. If you're looking for Mopar related content, don't watch this video because it's about my buddy Fred and his Cadillac, which you've seen on the channel before. He, uh, I did a lot of work to this thing. I put exhaust on it, and I put uh, full suspension on it, and I put brakes all around, and, you know. Fred got some good money at this thing, and he's looking to, today to change up the cooling system. And uh, we're gonna be changing out the radiator, the coolant overflow tank, we're also going to change the wastegate, get a different tune from ZZP. This is like a strictly ZZP parts car, right Fred? Yeah. That's right, so we got a ZZP radiator to go in. We got an OEM GM overflow. Uh, what is this thing here? I haven't looked here yet. What else we got? Uh, and the thermostat housing. We have a ZZP wastegate. Increase that boost. And then we got some Hawk pads for the front. New coolant lines. Like I said, the radiator. So all that's going in the Cadillac today. A lot of you guys see these cars on the ch on my channel. Like this particular car on my channel. The last couple of videos I've gotten a good amount of views. Um, and people always ask me like about the car or tell me something's wrong with the car. You know, some somebody said in the comments like, you know, this thing was like low or something. But like I said, it's not my car. So, I mean, I can't answer all your questions or concerns. But Fred watches the videos too. So if anything, he can... Uh, Get a hold of you in the comments and do stuff like that. But I'm gonna start by removing all this trim, put the car up in the air, drain the coolant, and then uh, swap out the radiators. All kinds of fun stuff we're getting into, right, Fred? Yes, sir. Fred's looking for the wheel out, you find it? No, I did not. I look oh man, we can't change the freight, the front brake beds without the uh, wheel lock. <laughs> yeah. All right, boys, that's what we're getting into. We'll get back in a few. Boys, we changed the pads. The new ones are in. Both sides. We're only changing the fronts. The Hawk, which Hawk pads are they? The Street Performance ones? Hawk Street Performance pads. Okay. They slid right in the old calipers here, the Brembo calipers. Now what we're doing is we're jacking the car up. Go ahead, go ahead Fred, jack it up. And we're gonna um, drain the coolant and then take the radiator out. I take all the other panel off, the whole bottom of the car. We're gonna drain the coolant. And then uh, take the radiator out, put the new radiator in, put the lines in. Yeah, a little bit more. That's good. That's as high as it goes. <laughs> it stopped. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Just take this panel down and, you know, throw the radiator in. All right, boys, we got the radiator out of the car. I take the airbox off, the turbo to do it. Got the radiator out, got the fans off the radiator. This was really a challenge to do because you have these two lines here. There's the upper and there's the lower one. They're like feed lines for the turbo, for the coolant. And this one wasn't too bad to get off. The bottom one was really challenging to get off. But the radiator's out. Man. Very challenging. And this, this fan just slid off those mounts on the radiator there. So now we're moving on to is installing the new radiators. All right, battery died. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna take this new radiator here out of the package. And then we're gonna put the uh, fan on that one, slide that one in. The hardest part, like I said, is the um, 
put in the the, the coolant lines, which is a, there's one there and a one there. And uh, yeah, get that radiator in, get that new overflow tank in, and then uh, put the wastegate on. Yeah. Move right along. So we'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, we got the whole entire radiator in, which was kind of a task because of the way they have designed the clips and stuff. But the radiator's in, everything's buttoned down, all the hoses are on, all the coolant lines are on for the turbo, everything's good to go. Now we're gonna work on taking apart the wastegate and take off these three 10, 10 millimeter screws, take the cover off, gonna unclip the wastegate from here. There's one 12, I think it's a 12, I think it's a 12. It's two 10s. Are these, no, these look like they're bigger than, these are, yeah, these are two 12 millimeter bolts that hold the wastegate to the turbo. There's one over here and one on the other side. So then I'm gonna unclip this little uh, snap ring, unbolt the wastegate, you know, but I'll show you guys what I'm doing. The idea is to get the wastegate off and replace it with the, uh, you have the new one right there, Fred? I'll probably grab the new one, but that's what's next. So just like I said, there's only three bolts holding the heat shield on. So Fred's getting the other wastegate. This is just to hold more boost. If you go on YouTube, there's a video that shows like how to set the wastegate. So this is the new one here. ZZP. It's fully adjustable on the back end with the jam nut and all the other stuff. So this one's gonna sit like this. So I'm gonna throw that on now and uh I'll give you guys a good look at it once it's installed. Guys, the new wastegate's in. Got it all. The vacuum lines on. The intake's back on. Catch can hot lines hooked back up. The heat shield's back on. Uh, what we're gonna do now is replace this overflow tank here, and then uh, we're gonna put this new hose on. What's this called, Fred? The. Uh... Uh, it's a... I'm not, actually, I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. I know it goes like right here though. It's like a. I don't know the name of it. I'm sorry, but I would put. The... Yeah, it's, yeah. We're gonna change that out and change this out, and then I'll put the cover back on. Put the front panel back on. And the car's done. What do you think, Fred? Good? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, Appreciate it. They can make 900 horsepower. No, maybe no. 800. <laughs> <laughs> Stock turbo, oh, 85, yeah. pushing 50 pounds. But uh, yeah, that's the last thing I'm gonna do, and then put the you know I get the valve cover back on. The, uh, what's it called? The dress-up piece here. Whatever, same thing. So engine cover. Engine cover. Yeah, sounds good. Let's let's call it an engine cover. What do you yeah, think? Go. Sound good? All right. Yeah, let's do that. I'll <laughs> get back. Next day here, Fred's car's finished. The Hawk HBS brake pads are in. The ZZP waste gates in. The ZZP radiators in. Everything's all set, good to go. Car, uh, Fred took the car for a ride. Everything turned out well. He loved the brakes and the uh, all the other stuff we did to the car. So, but that's gonna be for this week's video. I think next week we're gonna change the exhaust in the Hellcat. I have a different exhaust in the backyard, in the garage somewhere, maybe if I record. Um, it's like a, a mid muffler delete exhaust. So I'm gonna put that on the car. See how that sounds. And that's going to be next week's video, so we'll catch you guys next time.